I am too absolutely small for school by Lauren Child. I have this little sister Lola. She is small and very funny. Mom and Dad say she is nearly almost big enough to go to school. Lola is not so sure. Lola says, I am absolutely not big. I am still really quite small. She says, I probably do not have time to go to school. I am too extremely busy doing important things at home. I say, at school you will learn numbers and how to count up to 100. Lola says, I don't need to learn up to 100. I already know up to 10 and that is plenty. I have 10 fingers and also I have 10 toes and I never eat more than 10 cookies at one time. 10 is enough. But Lola, I say, what if 11 eager elephants all wanted a treat? How would you count up how many treats that would be? Well, says Lola, I am not quite sure. I say, and what about learning your letters, Lola? If you know how to write, you can send cards to people you like. Lola says, I like to talk on the telephone. It's more friendly and straight away. But not everyone has a telephone, you know, Lola, I say. Who doesn't, says Lola. Santa Claus, I say. You have to write him a special note and send it to the North Pole to tell the elves your Christmas wish. Otherwise, the elves might get your wish mixed up. I didn't know that, Charlie, says Lola. And Lola, I say, don't you want to read words? Then you will be able to read your own books and understand secret messages written on the fridge. Lola says, I know lots of secrets. I don't need to read words, and I've got all my books in my head. If I can't remember, I can just make them up. But Lola, I say, what would you do if there was an ever so angry ogre who would not go to sleep unless you read him his favorite bedtime story? I don't know, Charlie, says Lola. Then Lola says, I would like to read to an ogre and count up elephants and send notes to the North Pole, but I absolutely will not ever wear a school uniform. I do not like wearing the same as other people. I say, but Lola, you won't have to wear a school uniform. At our school, you can wear whatever you like. Oh, says Lola, you wait there. I know exactly what I can wear. Well, Lola, I say, that's certainly stylish, but you cannot go to school dressed as a crocodile. Lola says, this is not a crocodile, this is an alligator. I say, you can't really go as an alligator either. Why not, says Lola, because alligator is for fancy, for school, stripes are nice. Really, says Lola? I like to wear stripes, says Lola, but what will I do at lunchtime? You know I will never, not ever eat a school lunch. My sister Lola is fussy about food. I say, but Lola, you can take your very own packed lunch in your very own lunchbox. Lola says, I do not want to eat at school alone, all by myself, on my own. I say, but Lola, at school you will meet lots of new friends. You can have lunch with one of them. Then Lola says, but I already have my friend, Soren Lawrenson. I like to have lunch at home with him. Soren Lawrenson is Lola's invisible friend. No one knows what he looks like. I say, well, Soren Lawrenson will be going to school too. What will he do if he can't sit next to you? Oh, you're right. Soren Lawrenson is a little slightly nervous to be at school on his own. 
I will absolutely have to go too, says Lola. Walking to school, Lola is all wobbly. She says Soren Lawrenson is feeling slightly not very well. He is worried he will not be able to count numbers, do letters, and read words. And no one will talk to him, so he will be all by himself on his own. Lola, I say, it will be okay. You'll be fine. I bet you'll both have a really good time. And after school, we'll have pink milk at home. But all day, I am worried. I don't see Lola at recess, and she's nowhere at lunch. When school gets out, she's not by her peg. But then there she is, and she's not all alone by herself. She's hopping along home with somebody else. At home, I say, Lola, I told you that you would have a good time. And Lola says, oh, I know, Charlie. I was not worried. It was Soren Lawrenson who was nervous, not me. I was fine. The end.